Hi guys, this is a quick video on how to assemble the Vivita Skyview drone. Um, while assembling it, I'll make a brief comparison on the differences that uh, that exist between how you assemble the Skyview and the Aero, Aero drone. Okay, let's get to it. Basically, the Skyview drone is more easier to assemble than the Skyview. Let's start. This is the battery. The, I think it is the same battery that the Aeroview has, but this one has just been fitted in this cover so that it makes it easier for you to install. So you just slide it in and push it out if you when you want to charge it. So it just goes underneath there and to take it out just give it a hard push and it comes out so that is how you install the battery to the sky view and then another uh, modification that I noted which I really like also is the landing gear it this one has just two and it's a twist and turn kind of uh, install process as opposed to screwing all this in it's a little bit tricky and a little bit time consuming if you do not really master how to install this on the aero view but the sky view one is pretty easy as you see right here um just put this end in twist it and then slide this in it's as easy as that i really 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 like this improvement that put it in twist slide and you're in pretty stable too here yeah. then um, the camera is basically the same camera but this one is a 1080p camera um, it's you just slide it in as in the same uh, in the same fashion as you do with the Aero view and that's it and then put, plug it in yeah. and with the propeller protection protector it's easy as well no screws you just slide it in and that's it and to take it out you have this two Flaps here, you just push them down. I don't know if it's very visible, this too. Just pull it down and take it out. So that is quite neat. I really, really like that. As opposed to the air view where <laughs> you have to screw it in and a little bit daunting. Now. And then to push the protector in was a little bit difficult. But as you've seen with the sky view, it basically just slides in and, and that's it. Let's do the other two. And as you as you can see, sometimes when you slide it in, one of them is faced the, the other direction, leans the other direction, sorry. You have to make sure all of them are pushed up that way it doesn't come out because if it's down it slides up easily and in the event of a crash this would easily come out and then damage your protector yeah sorry your propeller could easily be damaged so make sure it is at the level of what position that way it stays inside so basically that's how you install Pass on there. And for this, is, it's, for the remote control, it's very easy. Just unscrew this. And this one has a push button. You should open that. It also has an adjuster. If your phone or your device is smaller, you can adjust and fit it in. Okay, so this is pretty neat. And then you just slide it in first, push it down, sorry, push it down, and 
and screw this in. Okay. And basically that's how you set it up. The remote control are pretty much the same, but some of the uh, positions have just been switched around. So, and um, the speed is right here, the trim, and all the calibration and all the other good stuff are over there. So I'll make another video on how to use this properly. And um, please subscribe if you have any question, feel free to ask and see you on my next video. Thank you.